Hello everyone, and uh, today I wanted to do a kind of an impromptu, kind of a quicker video, um, specifically about uh, Zanisha and Joy Boy. That <clears throat> spoilers, we actually got confirmation um, that these two were Nakama in the recent uh, One Piece chapter 1040. Um, and you know, I could br briefly go through uh, some of the other points in the chapter. You know, highlights being Big Mom finally being taken down, uh, her voice getting silenced as the chapter indicates, uh, you know, her falling into the hole. She's fell off everything at this point. Um, you know, Kid and, Kid and Law actually looking pretty badass after they defeated a Yonko. Uh, the first Yonko in the post-time skip era to fall. I mean, so many amazing moments. Um, you know, the bombs being used again. All these amazing moments that were just kind of in, you know, eh, I don't know how I feel about Big Mom falling in that way, but that's debatable. Um, and I, I think we're going to be getting lore drops too. You know, there's a lot of other battles left. Uh, also the longest battle on the planet, uh, Fukurakuju and Raizo is done, so that's pretty awesome too. Um, <laughs> but you know, the chapter, and with all of that being, Zanisha and Joy Boy seems to be the most interesting of the two, uh, the information that came out. And I don't know why Yamato is surprised. I'm assuming she's surprised not by the fact that they're Nakama at 800 years ago, but the fact that um, Yamato is actually more like, oh, Zanisha's here, you know, I didn't know. Um, and I was thinking about this, and I think the crime, this goes back into the crime, I think the crime that she committed must have been moving the minks, around maybe because they're an allying with the ancient kingdom um, I think that's a that's the first possibility kind of the more boring and plain possibility um, I also think the other possibility is that Zanisha uh, actually was moving the poneglyphs as a last ditch effort to get in the information out onto what the last island of being laugh tale is which used to be the headquarters and capital of uh, the ancient kingdom itself uh, it's kind of a lot to chew on, but I think particularly that's actually what's going on. Uh, so it's pretty big news. I, when I read that first, I kind of shouted like, I knew it, I knew it, because I haven't really said it much on this channel, but this is something I've always thought of was that Zanisha was from a very early stages planned to always be Joy Boy's kind of like um, you know, Chopper, you know, in a way, like, you know, they met when, you know, Zanisha was a little baby, kind of similar to Laboon, and, you know, he took this, this ancient elephant, maybe the last of its race on, and kind of, you know, was able to, uh, you know, become, you know, really close with them, become a pet, and I do think that this history is pretty important, especially with Big Mom's last words, yeah, last words, my ass, <laughs> But anyways, her last words talking, referring to the One Piece and maybe being on Wano. Uh, I don't know why she says that particularly, but, you know, if she has at least two Poneglyph readings, um, maybe, well, oh, it, it's unclear. It's unclear what those Poneglyphs are because Robin never got to look at them. Um, but what I do think is that there is some information that is buried uh, within maybe Wano that actually indicates something. If Zunisha's here... Um, and she wasn't commanded by anyone. Um, so maybe, you know, she actually went here on her own free will for the first time. It's it's very unclear, but I think it's pretty exciting what we're getting. I hope Zanisha doesn't try to carry Onigashim on her back, because I think that would probably kill her. Um, I, we don't even know if Zanisha is a male or a female at this point either, but there's just a lot of really interesting points in this chapter. And this this history between these two seems very important. Um, and kind of more important than the rest of the chapter, even though a Yonko has supposedly fallen, but, you know, we don't actually see, you know, I I'm assuming Big Mom's gonna be fine, even though she can't call out to her homies and all that. She's always going to be fine. You know, if Whitebeard could have a, a cannonball go through his <laughs> intestines and, and have half his face blown off, I think Big Mom can fall off of an island into a hole. Unless that is something to do with the ocean again, but I don't think either of these things are true. Um, 
So really phenomenal chapter. I just quickly wanted to get my thoughts out on the Zunisha and Joy Boy Nakama. I don't think it's really that surprising, um, to, at least to me anyways. I know a lot of people on Reddit were like, what? You know, like, nani? <laughs> but in reality, I think it's something that was kind of always planned somewhat. I remember there was this picture of Oda actually planning out a, a Zoe and Wano and Whole Cake whole cake i think less um but he still planned on you know connecting zo and wana we haven't really seen much of that besides the Koz kozuki and uh minx you know alliance so yeah really fantastic chapter there wasn't a whole lot to talk about because it's shorter it's only 15 pages and one of those pages has a lot of unusual negative space from oda you know usually when you think of negative space you think of bleach uh, or maybe sometimes Naruto, but, you know, this this series doesn't do a lot of that. So I, I don't know if that means that he's got back problems or, or what's going on. But regardless, uh, really beautiful moment between, uh, you know, getting information out like this and maybe, maybe just getting some stuff about the Ancient Kingdom. So anyways, that does it for me, and I uh, hope, hope I'll see you next time. Uh, have a good one. Bye.